Which one of us do you like? Yeah, tell us. I don't know, I don't know! What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warrior Aviators and a Super Hat bringing you another great video here on another Saturday and it's going to be a tutorial today but it is also the last day of Avatar Month. That's rough buddy. It is a tough day for me because I love Avatar Month like so much because Avatar is my favorite series but in this episode we're going to be doing a chi blocking or tai chi specifically um, combination for you guys. So there's this there's a bunch of scenes where Tai Chi will like jump in a group of people or jump one to one and just bang 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 hit them in the points where she's able to knock them out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an example of that and teach it to you guys because there are those things exist. It's not the exact same way but you can still hit a person in certain points and set yourself up for a knockout blow. So with that said, before we can get into the video, you know what we gotta do? Run that intro. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first start off and imagine someone is punching at us. They're just gonna throw a nice punch with their right hand coming in at our left side, so because that's how sides work. So what we're gonna do to start off is we're going to first try not to block the blow and take it straight on. We're gonna try to set up for a more important technique that will knock them out. We're gonna step in our stance just like we're ready for combat. As that punch comes in, we're gonna step to the outside of the punch and aim for the thigh. Have you ever, if you've ever been dead legged, you know this does not feel good. Wake up! Ow! Basically loses your ability to move uh, and run around for a short amount of time. Obviously, it doesn't last forever, but it will set you up for something next, and that's the goal of this combination. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna step to the side, just nice casual block, keeping yourself safe with this arm up here. And at the same time, you're going to fire that left hand into the meat of their thigh right there that will dead leg them. It's right in that si the center of your thigh there. So again, one, two. Now from here, whenever someone gets dead leg, they, they lean down a little bit, opening up their torso. So what, when that torso opens up, you're gonna take your other hand, you're going to you're gonna throw your knuckles into their solar plexus, the center of their chest, and that will make them lose, get the wind knocked out of them. That'll hit their diaphragm, make the wind get knocked out of them, which will make them bend over again, which is what you want. You wanna control how their body reacts to these hits. So again, block one, hit one, diaphragm hit two, and then you're gonna use your elbow because the elbow is uh, the sharpest bone in the body and really good at knockout blows. You're gonna elbow across their face after you knock the wind out of them. So one more time, just so you can understand what you're doing, blocking to keep yourself safe, dead leg, diaphragm hit, hinge of the jaw, knocking them out or at least breaking their jaw, depending on how hard you hit them. When you do this full speed, it should look something like this. Even though pressure points do exist and are a decent way of combat, it does have some drawbacks. Not all pressure points work on every person. There are some people out there that have immunity to certain pressure points, just like there are people that are double jointed. It's not super common, but it does exist. Also, the weight of the person, if they have fat or excessive muscles, like they're super like hulking, they will require more force or uh, modifications of certain pressure points so they can they can be in a situation where it's not very viable and so I think personally going for a fighting style that relies only on pressure points isn't necessarily the smartest way to go about fighting but it is good to have in your arsenal so that if you do come up with someone that you believe you can fire those pressure points on you can set yourself up 
for a knockout very quickly, especially when you're fighting multiple people and don't have the time to just square up with one person and go at it until they get knocked out because there might be four or five guys that you also have to protect yourself against. And in that way, pressure points are very useful because it can buy you time and help you knock someone out and get them out of the fight quicker than just squaring up and going at it with them. Basically, I say all this to say your results may vary. <laughs> But that is it for this video, and that is it for this year's Avatar Month. I can't wait to do the next one. Hopefully, I really, like, I don't know if they've casted for this uh, Netflix series, but I know I'm going to be covering uh, the martial arts in this series, and if I'm in it, if I they do do the open casting call, you know your boy is excited for them to cast this, and I am going to be covering that so much. So I will definitely, for you guys wondering in the comments, I will definitely be doing more Avatar stuff. Um, but the next me big batch of Avatar stuff won't happen until next November. That's just how it is. Sorry. But if you don't want to miss my next Avatar stuff, definitely hit the subscribe button uh, so you can see the future videos I post. And if you really want to see all the stuff I do, hit that notification bell so you never miss any posts. Because I do some interesting ones. So if that interests you, by all means, subscribe. Now, guys, thank you so much. For watching this video thank you for doing all that youtube stuff and until next time my name is dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out